Good day everyone, this is a build report for the Do It Self Guitar Pedals Night Drive which is a Love Pedal um, Eternity inspired uh, build. Uh, fits into a 1590A as you can see um, and it is a volume tone drive uh, across the top. There's a few mods that you can do to it which I'll explain um, when we have a look on the inside uh, and it will fit into a 1590A without any special hardware. These are Nutric jacks, open style jacks and um, uh, I've used the compact DC jack on the top, but you can get away with it by using a normal DC jack as well because it's approximately the same size as my Facemaster um, board and I fit a, um, a standard size DC jack with that particular build as well. Um, it can get a little bit tight. It's much easier to use a compact DC jack. Um, uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, sort of squashing everything in, um, but uh, if you don't have one, you can use a a normal style DC jack should be able to fit it in. So let's take a look at the inside of the build. So that's the look on the inside. Came up pretty neat this one. Um, I've used one of these uh, three pole double throw daughter boards, a uh, little mounting board, I guess you could call it. I'm going to have those on the um, web store soon um, and uh, I know there's a lot of them out there so I'm, I'm going to be pricing them um, as cheaply as I can. Um, and it uh, should be probably about a dollar, I reckon, so um, I can tell you it's worth it for a buck because it just makes things so much neater. You don't have to wire, there's a couple extra wires you don't have to worry about. The um, LED CLR uh, currently running resistors on the um, board as well, um, which is another convenience. Um, and also because this um, effect, of, I'm using a 500k pot for the um, gain control, the drive control, um, which is quite high gain, you need to watch out how the spacing between the input and the output. That lug there is the input lug, so the input from the effect goes up um, to, uh, sorry, it actually goes up to the daughter board and then comes back um, onto that lug. So that's basically input and that's output. And if they're too close together, you get feedback and whistling and all sorts of horribleness. So you need to watch out both on the input and output up there as well, so you're going to have an issue um, across there as well. If you're using closed jacks, you probably won't have that problem, um, but you know, I mean, you can do it. It's, it's quiet now. I just, um, I just um, moved, uh, shuffled these around a bit, and um, bent that uh, the lug inwards so it wasn't um, so close. And now it's fine. But you just need to watch out for that. Any high, any high gain pedal that you put into a 1590A, you have to be um, conscious of how close those um, those are. But don't worry. I mean, you're going to know if there's a problem as soon as you turn it on. You'll get this loud whistling, and you'll go, "What the hell?" And um, yeah, it'll be probably because they're almost touching, or they're a mil or two away from each other. I've also used sockets on this board. Um, as you can see, it's a very small board. I've made it, I've made it compact so I can fit in a, into a 1590A. I think it worked out what, quite well. Um, there's still, I wouldn't say this is a tight build as such. There's a bit of room down the bottom um, and there's a bit of room up the top as well. Uh, and there's obviously a bit of room there too. So I don't know if I'd say it's tight. I mean, it looks tight because it's a 1590A, but as far as 1590As go, um, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's that tight. Um, I've, I've used sockets also on this board. I've socketed the, the um, op amp and a few of the capacitors and the diodes. Um, and um, that's a pretty tall capacitor. It's actually about six or seven millimeters high and you can see there's still enough room um, uh, for the lid to go on. Um, you've got to allow for the rim that goes around there. So it's probably not a hell of a lot of room left um, unless the rim actually fits down that little gap there. Um, but uh, you can socket it. Um, the point I'm trying to make is that you can actually socket those um, and, and you, you should be fine. I've socketed the diodes as well um, because I'm experimenting with those. I may end up changing one of those to a germanium and putting a um, 100 picofarad capacitor in parallel with D2 which will knock off the, tre the top of the, um, uh, the, the treble. Uh, it'll cut back the treble a bit um, of the amplified signal, um, which I think sounds really good with this particular um, with this particular circuit, um, and I've also gone for an LM1458N for the op amp. You can use any dual op amp, um, but that's the one that I particularly found to be good. And I've used the low profile caps, even though they're probably not required. I mean, you know, you, that's a five mil cap. You'd easy easily fit a normal um, size cap, which is usually about ten mil, um, in there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't worry too much about those caps, but 
if you want them, they're on they're on my web store as well. And the um, DC jack on the back, um, as well as a compact is a compact DC jack. I mean, if you think about the conveniences, you've got the daughter board, the low profile caps, and the compact DC jack. That will cost you the whole of about a dollar seventy five cents and eighty cents, so a couple of bucks. And then you won't have to worry about any of that stuff. Up to you if you want to go down that path or not. But if you're ordering the board off my web store, web store probably should have a look at those things as well because they're not that expensive. Um, or use your own daughter board or if you've got your own compact jack, obviously you're not going to need one from me. Um, the, the electrolytics should fit without the ones from my web store. Up to you um, which path you want to go for that. Um, and if you want to look into some of the mods that I've recommended, they're actually in the build doc for this. Um, so go and check them out. They're just, they're not... Uh, not anything that's terribly outside the box, uh, changing the input capacitor, um, changing the the um, the capacitor before the second stage of uh, of the op amp um, that actually filters out some of the treble. Um, you can change that and and um, you can go up and down for more treble. Um, uh, sorry, more treble or less treble um, for that one. But it's all detailed in the build doc, so have a read of that um, if you're ordering the board. Um, and I'll probably, um, like I said before, I'll probably putting that 100 picofarad um, capacitor in parallel with D2 to chop some of the top off, uh, which is kind of where the name came from, Night Drive, because I think this this um, this effect sounds particularly good when it's dark. Um, then when it's too bright, I don't think it sounds as good. Um, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's got nine mil um, pots, like most of my boards do, all of my boards do at the moment. Um, so you can just you can just mount them directly into the um, into the board. Uh, so I think the next thing to do is to have a listen to it. Oh, one thing I should mention. I'll mention this at the start of the sound demo as well. Um, but uh, massive stuff up on that LED. It's a bit of a long story. I'll give you the short version. Um, it was a super glue incident. I used super glue to hold them in, and uh, the stupid container went um, just sort of spewed it out everywhere. And now this. Um, plastic uh, washer on the um, on the foot switch is actually permanently in place, shall we say? Um, and I can't actually fix this LED either, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it when I hit the um, button that the effect is on. Um, I'll mention that at the start of sound demo in case you in case you don't watch, in case you haven't seen um, this build report. So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, let's let's have a listen to it, which will be in the next video, uh, being the sound demo. Thanks for watching.